What is going on, YouTube? So, I have found a problem, which it's probably common because there was a solution on the internet. Problem is, while trying to play Forza Horizon 4 on the PC, you cannot join an online session. It absolutely will not join. On Xbox, it works perfectly fine. But if you take a look, go to online, finding a Horizon live session. takes forever for it to find the session and eventually it'll come back with saying unable to join if you get this where you're unable to join online then I might have a solution for you there's a couple ways that you can fix it and Welcome Xbox back, actually has a UK. support article All for it talk about right now we're gonna go into that and the right now who've made the cut to throw down in so, on xbox.com, support.xbox, if you search for Troubleshoot Party Chat, you get this Xbox app NAT type on Windows 10 displays. Teredo is unable to qualify. Now, in order to figure out if this is the reason why you cannot join, you need to load up the Xbox app on your computer. So here's my Xbox app. You need to go over here to this cog. That's the settings. Go over to network. And let this load. It says what we're looking for is Toreto is unable to qualify. Right here, Xbox multiplayer NAT type. Toreto is unable to qualify and it has a solution of how to fix this. So it says, if Teredo is unable to qualify, your PC is unable to obtain a Teredo IP address. Teredo is a networking protocol that's used to establish secure communications between clients and servers. It's basically the protocol that Xbox Live uses. Now, if you don't have that, you can connect to Xbox Live and do your friends list, all that kind of stuff. Like the app works, the Xbox Live app works, but when you try and play a game from your PC, you cannot actually connect to the server because you don't have the correct protocol on here. So it says failure to obtain the IP, the Teredo IP address can occur if there's an issue with your Teredo adapter. When a device on your network is blocking the Teredo protocol, or if there is a software installed on your PC that's disabling Teredo functionality, without a Teredo IP address, you'll be unable to use Party Chat or do multiplayer gaming on Xbox Live, which is exactly what is happening right now. I can't join the online session in Horizon 4. I thought it was really strange because I could do it on Xbox One, but not in the app. So it says, make sure you have internet connection. I know I have internet connection. It says, solution two, uninstall and reinstall the Teredo adapter. So if you go to the command prompt and you need to load it up as admin, so if you type CMD in here, right click, run as admin, it'll pull it up. And it wants us to type in net sh space interface Teredo set state disable. It says OK. It was finished. I'll move that to the side. Now right click the start icon and go to device manager. Click on view. Show hidden devices. Select network adapter. We'll close this keyboard. Network adapter. Identify any adapters that contain Teredo, such as Teredo tunneling, pseudo interface, or Microsoft Teredo tunneling interface. Right click the adapter and choose uninstall. Let's see if I have that. Stellar Ethernet, Microsoft kernel. 
I don't even have that, so maybe I don't even have Teredo installed. Shouldn't be here yet, it's definitely not there. And it says to restart the computer. To re-enable the Teredo adapter, right click start button, start icon, and change this. Just type this in right here. Alright, so we're gonna restart the computer and we'll be right back. Alright, so we're back from the restart. Load up the command prompt again. And this time it wants us to type net sh interface Teredo set state type equal sign default it says OK. And now the Microsoft Teredo adapter will reinstall automatically. Don't install the Teredo tunneling interface manually. This may be the cause of why it's not working. Check to see if Teredo is disabled in the registry. Well, let's load up the Xbox app and see if that fixed it. Well, that did not fix it, so let's move on to the next solution. Check to see if Teredo is disabled in the registry by a program or by manually configuring registry values. Some programs can alter your PC's network settings with the purpose of disabling IPv6 network components, which can include the Teredo tunneling adapter. It can Determine whether the Teredo can be disabled by running the following command. I am just going to copy this because I don't feel like typing all of that. And it wants me to if the out to run this if the output includes the following line to the Teredo has been disabled. Type reg underscore d word space zero x four I have seven you can re-enable it by typing that which we already did check if the TCP IP 6 registry path and it wants us to type this uh, so we'll type this in here if the output includes the following line the value displayed is not 0 x 0 may have been disabled so we're right here Disabled components. Let's re enable it. Uh, yeah, I don't see that, so we're going to try this. And it says value disabled components exists. Overwrite value. And let's read what it says. Well, some applications set these registry values to disable Teredo. When the application is installed, others set them every time the application starts. If your PC has one of these adapters installed, make sure you have the up most up-to-date version or see if the support document to learn how to enable Teredo tunneling with the software. Alright, I don't have Aces Game First service, so 
That might not be it. And this step right here is for that. I'm going to type yes, operation successful. And we'll check this again. OK, now we have 0x0. Zero zero. So that's right. Solution 4, check to see if the IP helper service is running. For Teredo to function normally, the IP helper service needs to be set to start automatically and running. Enter services in the folder search bar. We'll check this. I'll show you this one, too. Services. Now check the type of startup type. So scroll. All right, let's see. IP helper. Startup type is automatic, so it's not that. Solution 5, che check to see if the Teredo server name is set to an invalid value. And to check this, we'll go ahead and close that. To check this, net sh interface Teredo show state. The default value for the server name parameter on Windows 10 is win10.ipv6.microsoft.com. I have win1711. If a different value is displayed and Teredo is unable to obtain IP, you may revert back to the default value. Okay, well, let's check this again. Because I did several things, and we'll see if this works now. If it doesn't work, I kind of think I don't have a Teredo adapter installed, because it, it wasn't in the settings. So we'll come here, we'll paste this in, and then let's see, it still, s I just changed it and it said OK, Win1711 IPv6. This is so crazy. Check to see if a host file entry has been made, blocking connectivity to Teredo servers. Some applications will block your PC from connecting to Teredo servers by adding entries to the host file located under here. Device manager, click on network adapters. Yes, well, I do have this. No, while uninstalling a VPN uh, should unblock Teredo, this will also likely cause the VPN you still require VPN alongside Teredo. Refer to the support document. Yes, I want my VPN. OK, so I was able to figure it out. I didn't get a direct solution on what I needed to do, but I was able to figure out, since Teredo is a IPv6 tunneling protocol, and I do have a VPN. I have the Private Internet Access PIA VPN which is really good if you ask me. Basically, what I had to do was disable IPv6 tunneling, or IPv6 leak protection. So this is on by default, and it's typically a good thing to have. However, I disabled it, and then I restarted the computer, and I brought up the Xbox app again to see if it works, and it shows that uh, my connector, my server connectivity is good. My NAT type is moderate, which that's fine. 
So let's load up Forza Horizon and see if it works. Welcome back, Barry. Thanks, Anna. All right, let's see if this actually works now. There's the menu button. Horizon 4 would like to access your microphone, sure. That's never happened before. There are other people driving around. There is not yet, so let's... See if it'll actually connect to online. And yes, it worked. There's a car, there's a guy driving right there. That is how you fix it. All you need to do is disable IPv6 leak protection if you're using a private internet access VPN and most likely any other VPN. If you have any VPN installed on your computer and you are not able to play online on any Xbox Live service from your computer, make sure you disable IPv6 leak protection. Obviously, if you really need IPv6 leak protection, go ahead and turn it back on within the VPN settings when you're not playing the game. But this will allow you to play any Xbox Live game from your computer if you're previously unable to do so.